Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to make your own SVGs using one of my favorite programs, Canva. We will be using Canva Pro, which is the subscription version of Canva, but I do highly recommend this program. I use it all the time. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Once you're signed into Canva, we're gonna go up to the top left-hand corner and click on Create. Go down to Custom Size, and we're gonna do a width and height of 1500 pixels. And then click Create New Design. Canva has so many images for you to use for your projects. It may be hard to discern which ones to use and which ones you shouldn't use for an SVG. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Once you have your blank screen, you're gonna head over to Elements. And in the search bar, you can search for whatever you want. I'm gonna type in Santa hat, and you'll notice we have graphics, photos, and frames. For SVGs, you're gonna to wanna to stick with the graphics. So we're gonna click on See All. Now the images here with the crowns are part of the Canva Pro subscription, and the ones without the crowns are free. Now you can opt to use any of these images, However, if you plan to sell your SVG files, you do need to use the free images. And I highly recommend checking out Canva's copyright policy before you go ahead and sell anything. And if you have any questions about it, definitely direct them towards Canva. So if you're hoping to stick with the free images, you can filter out the other images by going up to the top, clicking on the filters, and then you can click on free, and then you'll only be presented with the free images. So currently at the time of filming, I don't sell any of the SVG files that I make, and I usually use them just for personal use. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and click on clear all so that I get a larger variety of images here. Now when selecting images for an SVG, you wouldn't want to select something like this. You can see all the different shading here, jagged edges kind of look like paintbrush strokes. That's just not gonna work. So let's delete that. You also wouldn't want to select something like this because there are a lot of thin lines. And if your end goal is to cut this image out with your Cricut machine or a laser engraver, you don't want to have fine lines because if you're using cardstock or very thin wood or vinyl, those thin lines are gonna be a pain to weed out and they may also break once your design has been cut. So we're gonna stick with thick lines. So something like this Santa hat here would be appropriate. You could tell there's different layers to this image because at the top you can see three different color swatches. So if we click on the white layer here, you could change it to any other color. Now that's blue, doesn't look great, but we can change that back up at the top. So you can change your image to whatever colors you want. So if you insert an image that does not have these color circles up here at the top of your screen, the image is not going to work well as an SVG. So once you find the image you want to use, go ahead, be creative and add to it and create what you want to create. So first let's make this Santa hat a little bigger and let's add some text. So I'm gonna go over to text, insert a text box, and I'm just gonna type out from Santa. Now you could put anything there that you wanted to, and we're gonna stretch this inside the Santa hat. And this could be used as a gift tag, or you can pin it to a stocking if you are cutting this out of material with your Cricut. This could be a really fun project to make. Then we can go up to the top. We can change the font if we wanted to. There are, again, a lot of different fonts to choose from. There are many free fonts to use as well as Canva Pro fonts with the crowns beside them. And again, you probably wouldn't want to use a very thin font or a font that had a lot of jagged edges or look like a brush stroke because those would be very hard for your cutting machine to cut out. So I'm gonna try this font here and that looks very cute. We can stretch it out a little bit and let's add a curve. So we can go to the top, click on effects, click on curve, and then you can adjust the curve over here. And then you can also turn your text as well. Okay, let's add a little something else. So let's go back to elements and this time I'm gonna type in snowflakes. And I like this snowflake here because it's thick and it looks like it would be easy to weed out if I were to cut out this design with vinyl. So 
So I'm going to add one here. I'm going to duplicate that snowflake, put it here. Let's shrink that one down a little bit. And then let's duplicate that again. And I'm loving how this looks. It's very cute, very simple, and very doable. So once you have your file made, you can go up to the top, click on share, click download, and then under file type, we're going to change this to an SVG and then also select transparent background. And then you can press download. Now this should download to your downloads folder on your computer. So we're going to open up this file that we just created in Canva in Cricut Design Space and see how it turned out. So I'm in Design Space now. We're gonna head over to the canvas and click on upload. Click on upload image and you can drag and drop your file here or browse for it. Click on continue. You can give your image a name and then click on upload. And let's shrink our hat down a little bit here. All right, this file is looking great. You'll notice in the layers panel, everything is grouped together. We've got our snowflakes, all of our white pieces, our red hat, and you're probably wondering where is the text? So we have another group box here and all the letters have come in as separate layers. They are grouped together, so you don't have to ungroup those, but select that group of letters and just go down to the bottom and click attach so that they will cut out all together as one and they won't be scattered all over your mat when you get your Cricut to cut this out. You can also go back to the layers panel and select all your black layers and have those all cut out together rather than separately. And you can attach your words with that group as well and click on attach. So let's ungroup this bunch for a second. So if we were to separate everything here, we've got our red hat, we've got the white bottom piece, we've got this white circle, and now I have attached all these black layers together so they'll cut out all as one. So that was a very easy way to create an SVG. It only took me a few seconds and you can be as creative as you want. But there are a few drawbacks when designing SVGs in Canva. So let's quickly go over those so that you don't get frustrated in the process. So earlier I put this SVG together. This is an image I got from Elements and then I typed out Autumn over here. Now, if I wanted to manipulate these background shapes, I can't do that. So even if I were to head over to the layers, which is up at the top, if you click on positions, you can see your layers here on the left hand side. If the layers don't pop up here, you may be under a range. Just click on the tab beside that. There's the layers. So it's only technically showing three layers, which is our white background, our image here, and then our text. So if I save this file as an SVG and open up in Cricut Design Space, I would be able to maneuver these layers individually. But within Canva, I can't do that. The only thing I can do is change the color of each of these layers. So maybe I wanted to do purples instead of oranges. I could do that. But other than changing the colors on here, I can't do a whole lot else. I can crop the design, but I can't get rid of any of these shapes by themselves or I can't resize these shapes individually of themselves, which could be a little frustrating if that's what you wanted to do because you wanted to create something and then send the design off to a friend for them to use. So let's quickly download this file and look at it in Design Space. Okay, so here's our autumn image. And if we go over to the layers panel, you can see all the layers here. Let's ungroup them for a second so I can show you what I was talking about. So within design space now, I could make this circle smaller if I didn't want it so big. And I could make this one larger. And I could duplicate this shape here and add another one over here. You get the idea. You have a lot more play once you've turned your image into an SVG. But within Canva, you can't manipulate each of these layers. So if you really wanted to manipulate your design further and you wanted to sell these SVG files that you're making in Canva, you would probably have to do some further editing within another design program such as Inkscape or Adobe or another design platform. So another thing I should mention, if we head back over to Canva, if you go over to Elements and you just insert one image that is a pro image and put that on your canvas 
and then you go to press share, download. Let's make that an SVG again with a transparent background and click on download. You'll notice at the bottom here, it will say failed. There's only one image or graphic on your design. Premium images can't be exported on their own. Add more elements and then try again. So you can't just take one image, download that, and then upload it to Design Space or another program without adding to the image and making it your own. Another thing I wish I could do in Canva is filter my images better so that I would be able to only select the images that have the multiple layers with all those different colors so that you're not sifting through thousands and thousands of images wondering where the images are that you can use for your SVGs. Another thing you could do though is upload your own designs. Maybe you like to draw images in Procreate to use as SVGs. You can upload them to Canva and then save it as an SVG. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in more Canva tutorials, check out this video right here. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.